Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Coffee Time Podcast, episode 10. And it this is the season finale. And um, I want to say thank you for, for the ones that has been sticking in with me ever since I started the podcast. And um, I just really, really want to say thank you. And I really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. And this video is going, um, this episode is going to be different, okay? Um, some of you guys know, not some of you guys, most of you guys know that I've been talking about my wife. And, and, um, I want to let you guys know, this is going to be the episode of telling you guys how we met. Um, how we met. And um, right before I get into the episode, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please keep your post notifications on to that vibrating symbol so each and every one of you guys can be notified every time I upload a new episode. And, um, you know, um, I want to tell you guys how my wife and I met. Um, during the time I was in a relationship, you know, my previous relationship was very, very toxic. And, um, you know, I found out that she was cheating on me. I found out that she was, you know, doing stuff behind my back. Technically, I already know about, you know, what was going on because I had people watching, watching her for me and telling me, what she was doing and people calling me um the certain friends that we had that I introduced her to for her to um to gain a friend group um so um you know I've been there for her I loved her we were engaged previously I was engaged previously and you know I brought her a ring, I brought her everything. Um, she was supposed to move down here with me, but only God knows God knows that that did not happen. But um, to make a long story short, she broke up with me over the phone. She gave me it's, it's not you, it's me story. Then she hung up, then she hung up the phone. And then a couple weeks later, I met my wife on at I believe some of you guys know about Facebook um, Facebook dating you know I at first I did not know Facebook had a dating app on it but um, I met my wife on Facebook dating I was consistent on you know I made the first move was I hit her up she didn't respond she did not respond. So I was consistent on, on, uh, you know, consistent on, you know, getting to know her and getting her number. And, and, um, you know, I believe the 25th, I believe of February, the 25th of February, she gave, we exchanged numbers and years and four years later, we are still together. We have a child together. And and I'm so so grateful. We we've been together almost 5 years. And we've been married. Technically, you know, technically we are not married. Okay? The reason why I call her my wife because she is my wife. She is we are not documented. We are. We don't have uh, a wedding document. It's not documented. Um. You know, we are married. 
I see her, I see Desiree as my wife. She's my ride or die. My ride or die, everything, she's been there. You know, you know, I, when we first met, I was very honest with her. And she made me work, work for, work, work towards of me getting her number. And, you know, I was blowing up her phone. So I was there for her. She was there for me. It's vice versa, 50-50. And now we have a beautiful son together. And um, the last, my previous relationship was, you know, um, you know, she said that she was pregnant and then, and then I had seen no proof. The difference, the, the, um, the pros and cons was my ex-girlfriend lies, lied. And my wife, she tells the truth. I need that in a person. I need that in a person because, like I told my wife, you know, when we first met, I don't like liars. I don't like, my, my pet peeves are liars being cheated on. And, and it's like, I don't want, to be in a relationship and it's full of toxic, full of toxicity. So, so as you guys can see, me and Desiree's love is very genuine. It's so genuine, it's so unconditional because, because it's like she loves me for me, I love her for her. And yes, we are gonna have our ups and downs, we are. But at the end of the day, communication like I said in my previous episodes like me and um, wifey said in previous episodes communication is always key in my previous relationship we didn't have that we didn't have communication it, it was always miscommunication it was always you know arguing always back and forth me and my wife, sad to say, we never argued. Technically, we only argued at one time. We argued at one time. But due to the course of our relationship, we never argued. I'm not saying we are the perfect couple. We are not. But I'm just saying that we never argued in our relationship. We never argued. And, um, you know, we met off of Facebook. And we've been together ever since. And in some of the vi videos that you see of us, of us, you know, being together, it is like we we love having a good time with each other. And plus, we love spending time with our son. And I love spending time with um with my son because because like I always wanted to be a dad. I always wanted to be a dad. And now I am a dad. And to be honest with you guys, I never, my, my dad wasn't truly in my life. So, I, now I got an opportunity to be there for my child. People's not going to like it. People's not going to like, oh, people is not, okay. People's not going to like, don't like seeing you grow up. For the first time parents. For the parents that are. Currently going through something right now. People in your immediate family. Really think. Wants to stay. You know. Really wants you to stay their baby. Once you have a baby. It's time to. Time to grow up. But. Um, we met. I'm sorry for I'm getting off topic, but um, that I will talk more about that in season two. Okay, talk more about that in season two. Um, but I, you know, I really, really love I love my wife from the bottom of my heart, and you know, I love my son from the bottom of my heart. People, people don't is not going to understand that. I'm always gonna be there for my son. People gonna 
people is going to lie on me. People is going to lie, you know, and talk about my parenting style, but but um you know, I'm always I'm always going to be the perfect parent. Not the perfect parent. I'm always going to be a great dad for LJ. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart for making this season. This is only season one. This is only season one. For making this season the best season ever. Yes, some of the episodes I didn't get a lot of views on it, but... But I'm still, I'm still going to give you guys more episodes. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. So, season two is coming your way. So, stay tuned for that. And um, I really, really love you guys. And I really appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart for making this season a success. And um, I love you guys. God bless you. And have a smile upon you. And I'll see you guys soon in season two. Have a blessed night.